What up? Alexa Layton here again. And um, I feel like I'm always talking about my vagina, but who cares? <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about the time that I left a clove, <laughs> the time that I left a clove of garlic in my pussy for a month. <laughs> Call me garlic pussy, bitches. I was at a point in my life where I was going through mad pussy problems, like mad pussy problems, because my man was cheating on me. It's a whole different story. If you want to actually hear about that story, you can go um, check out a conversation with my ex's side chick. Yeah, so you can go check that out on your own time. I was tired of going to the doctor and asking the doctor for remedies because nobody wants to take medication all the goddamn time. Like, it's just not good for you. And you know how that whole shit works. Like, doctors make money off prescribing you shit you don't even fucking need. So. Um, I went to my GYN. Now, when I say pussy problems, I did not get, like, an actual STD. Thank God. Because that nigga was cheating on me with multiple bitches. But, um, I was getting, like, you know, the common things, like UTIs. And I was getting it a lot. I only had one sexual partner because I was in a relationship. So, that's really a red flag, ladies, for you to all of a sudden start getting, like weird stuff happening to your vagina and you're only having sex with one dude is he's probably cheating on you bitch okay that nigga is 99.9% .9 cheating on your ass the 0.01% could just be your pussy sensitive and now the GYN like every other week to be honest it was almost to the point where my GYN was about to prescribe me an antibiotic to take before sex every time I was about to have sex oh, well, no. and that's bad bitch when she told me that I was like fuck like what's going on I need to find holistic ways to help keep my pussy in check whether it be pH balance bacteria whatever the fuck's going on down there it needs to get it together so I was at work one day and I was talking to my friend about my pussy problems and she was like, girl, try garlic. Bitch, what? Bitch, what type of whole type shit is that? What the fuck is a piece of garlic going to do for me? Why is it that bitches always think garlic is the key to all their fucking problems? Like, what the fuck is that little ass vegetable going to do for my goddamn vagina? And that's what I told her. I was like, bitch. She was like, Google it. So, of course, you know I've been on Google and Google been telling me I had fucking vaginal cancer or some dumb shit because Google always loves to tell you you got some type of cancer when something's wrong with you. So, I was on Google and I was reading, you know, a few articles and women were really vouching for using garlic to cure their pussy problems. Basically, what I was instructed to do was to break off a piece, a clove of garlic, cut off the top, cut off the bottom, I guess for like ventilation or whatever the fuck, and just plop that sucker in your pussy. Now maybe some of y'all might be grimacing at the act of putting a clove of garlic in your pussy, but bitch, you put worse in there, okay? I'm sure of it. <laughs> and plus, garlic is really small. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. What do I have to lose? It's just garlic, like what can it possibly do? Some of y'all probably thinking, oh, it might burn, this and that. Listen, I was ready for whatever side effects it had because I was trying to fix my pussy, okay? And we had mad garlic on hand. So, went in the kitchen, cut off the top and the bottom of the clove of garlic, went to the bathroom, and popped that little sucker in my pussy. At first, I mean, it really didn't feel like nothing, you know? We all put tampons in our pussies penises in our pussies a little clove of garlic isn't gonna feel like anything so I put it in there at like the beginning of my work shift and I went about my work shift thinking okay let's see what this garlic does for my vagina hopefully it makes all my vagina woes go away 
bitch. I basically done forgot about the shit. I go pee. Um, but I didn't check to see if the garlic fell out because I had forgotten about it. Damn. This clove of garlic probably fell out my pussy already. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already done sat on the toilet and, like, pushed a few times. So, it probably fell out. I forgot about it. Let me plop another one in there. <laughs> so, that's what I did. I plopped another clove of garlic in my pussy. Now, before I took a shower to go to bed, I used the bathroom and the garlic came out. So, I just, you know, threw it away, copped in the shower, and was like, alright, I think that's enough garlic in my pussy for today. I mean, you know, this ain't an Italian restaurant down here, okay? This is my vagina. So, um, hopped in the shower, got out, and went to sleep. Wake up in the morning, go to work the next day, and my friend's like, so, how'd the clove of garlic in a pussy go? And I'm like, bitch, it didn't do shit. Like, I still feel the same fucking symptoms I've been feeling. I don't see no difference in my pussy at all. Like, what was this supposed to do again? And she was like, oh, just give it some time. Just give it some time. So I did the same thing the next day at work. But after the second day of having another clove of garlic in my pussy, I was just like, you know what? I'm over this. Like, I don't see any change in what's going on down there. And... It's just, I feel like this is stupid. So, after that day, I never put another piece of garlic in that pussy again. Fast forward a whole month. 30 days. How do I know it was 30 days? Because I got my period. I was having sex. Because I was still with that fuck nigga. It's funny because one day after my, this was right after my period had um, finished. I was with my boyfriend and he starts to finger me and he's fingering me he's like what's that and I'm like what's what and he's like I feel something like what is that and I'm like nigga the fuck is you talking about my uterus and he's like I never felt this before and I'm like <laughs> and listen to me trying to sound all scientific and knowledgeable. I'm like, oh, well, you know, your uterus shifts positions during different times of your cycle. So sometimes it's lower than normal and sometimes it's higher than normal. So it's probably like really low right now. And you're probably just feeling like the opening or whatever of my uterus, right? He was utterly confused, okay, bitch? But... He just, I mean, he bought it because he's a man. So what the fuck is he going to tell me? Like, he don't know what it is. And I clearly didn't know what it was. So he was just like, all right, whatever. Fast forward maybe another week or so. I'm taking a shit, you know, like I normally do daily. Get up, wipe my ass. And I don't know about y'all, but I always look at the tissue paper after I wipe my ass. It's just something I do. I have to know what's going on down there. If you don't look at your paper, you stupid because you need to know what's going on, what's coming out your body. So, look at the toilet paper and there was a huge chunk of something on the toilet paper. And when I tell you, a bitch was shook, okay? Shook as fuck. I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that my ovary, bitch? What the fuck is that on this piece of paper? So, I toss it in the sink because I'm like, I need to wash it off to see what it is. Because, yeah, it's, you know, covered in shit and mucus and, yeah. I wash it off. And guess what the fuck it was? That first clove of garlic I put in my pussy at work. The very first one. It never and I was like, yo, this garlic been in my pussy for a month, dog. But that just goes to show, you know, you know, my pussy is tight, okay? My pussy tight, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody say my pussy ain't tight. Can't nobody say my walls ain't intact, bitch, all right? Pum, pum, good, where I say.
if a clove of garlic can stay in my pussy for a whole month through multiple shits, multiple sex acts of sexual intercourse, fingering sessions, that means my walls is tighter than a goddamn Jewish nigga budget. A fresh sewing bitch. You bitches waist shapers. <sighs> bitch, my pussy is tighter than Fort Knox. Me say me pump pump smile like the ants them like the grass. So you know say a good old gal this. Now gal can't touch me. Cause you know say some gal they something woulda drop out them pump pump same day. Cheers to my walls. <laughs> God, I love me. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that motherfucker was in there for a whole goddamn month, bitch. And when I washed it off and looked at it, it hadn't really changed much. It's like my pussy has these, like, preservative powers. And the garlic just, I mean, it looked just a little bit whiter than it was before. But man, like, the vagina is magical, dog. <laughs> We gotta find some way to like extract whatever fluid, magic, and sorcery is in our vaginas and put it in like a tube and sell that bitch. Like little capsules of the fountain of youth. Because that motherfucking clove of garlic did not decompose. Okay, like, I know some of y'all were thinking, well, damn, bitch, was that shit rotten in your vagina? No. No. And I know y'all thinking, well, bitch, your pussy must have been smelling like straight up garlic for the whole month. Ew. How did your man eat you out? It didn't stink, bitch. Shut up, okay? All right, it smelled like a regular pussy. If y'all listening, my walls is tight. Not only did the garlic not come out, but the smell of garlic wasn't coming out either, but it was locked up in there, okay? Locked up like a bitch, okay? Locked up like your father's been for the past 17 years, okay? Don't try to play me. Now I know at least if I gotta smuggle drugs in or out of the country, my pussy walls got me covered, bitch. Ain't shit falling out this pussy hoe. And bitch, I don't even do Kegel exercises. <laughs> it's crazy. Genetics. But um, the garlic didn't do shit. Honestly, didn't fix none of my pussy problems. I still had the same ass pussy problems, but I survived, okay? I wouldn't suggest putting anything in your vagina unless it's prescribed or it's simpine because exhibit A. Shit like this could happen. It could get lost up in there for a month and you won't even fucking know. Like, am I not elite or what? Am I not like the baddest bitch? Am I not a fucking goddess? Am I not like just amazing? Like, <laughs> this gotta go in the Guinness Book of World Records because I don't know anyone who's done this before. I am a savant, an anomaly, and the last unicorn. God, like my pussy should be in a museum. <laughs> like y'all can't touch me, that man tell no. Like y'all can't touch me. Cause no girl could come to me in an argument and say, my pussy better than yours, bitch. Ah, that's not my pussy better than yours. No, bitch. Have you carried a clove of garlic in your pussy for a month? I didn't think so, ho. Okay? You not seeing me, dog. You not seeing me. None of y'all bitches is seeing me, dog. Like, <laughs> like, imagine what else my pussy can do. It's probably the wine talking right now, but imagine what else my pussy can do. My pussy could probably help me carry my groceries home. Charge my phone. Lift weights, bitch. Okay? Like, are you, are you dumb? You know, niggas can't hit this no more. Like, Straight up, niggas gotta, niggas gotta step they dick game up to hit this dog because when I put this pussy on you, you, your dick might not come back. It might be stuck in there for a month. <laughs> Think of my pussy as 
the finger traps you win at the arcade. You might be able to get up in it, but your ass ain't gonna be able to get up out it. <laughs> Subscribe, bitches!